Don't you think that in this day and age, it's absolutely ridiculous that people can be prosecuted for such a ridiculous and outdated thing as a television license? And take a look at this headline because I'm going to be ranting about it, I'm sure. Axe the license fee or staggering 750,000 people could be prosecuted by 2027. That's 750,000 sounds a bit high to me, to be honest. But to be fair, even one person being prosecuted sounds a bit high to me. And um, yeah, it's just it's a concerning thing, isn't it? Because I think they are going to start ramping up the enforcement visits because I've seen a huge increase in the amount of letters that have been sent out. You lot send me all your letters and I love that. Thank you very much. Keep doing it. Find out how to do it below. But I've seen a huge increase in the amount of letters being sent out. And if they're increasing the letters, they're going to start increasing the visits, aren't they? But we can get this number down to zero. It's an easy way and we'll talk about it in a minute. Let's read a bit of the story first. Taxpayers Alliance analyst Darwin Friend warned a huge number of Britons are at risk of being prosecuted in the next five years for not paying the BBC TV licence. The government has announced the TV licence fee will be frozen for two years in a bid to give struggling families a financial helping hand in the wake of the rising living costs. Yep, they've frozen it for a couple of years, saving you probably four or five quid a year. And what a big help that is. Thank you so much, government. We really appreciate that. Because petrol prices aren't through the bloody roof, are they? Food prices aren't through the bloody roof, are they? Energy prices aren't through the bloody roof. Broadband's not going up. Everything isn't going up at all. We're so thankful for you looking after us like that, government, with about a fiver a year. It's really, really going to help. But with the current charter still having five years to run before its expiration and costs likely to soar to around £167 in line with inflation, Mr Friend expects prosecutions and fines to escalate. Yet, as I said a minute ago, they are sending out a lot more letters and that's going to be followed by a lot more visits, you know. And um, it's bad. I mean, this is initially what brought me into this fight, this whole cost of living thing. Because I was unemployed, I was living on my own, I had rent and bills to pay, something had to go, I had to cut back on everything. And I found out that you didn't have to pay the TV licence fee. I learnt that from a guy in here watching Observer 76, his video is still up from years ago, the one that I watched. You can go and look at it, I might put a link below if I remember. But have a look at that. And um, that's what led me into this, because 13 quid a month at the minute, I'm sure to many of you, doesn't sound like that much money. And Good for you, I'm happy for you. But to many people out there, 13 quid a month makes a big difference. It's kids' school meals, or it's another week's worth of electric on your keycard meter. You know, I've been there. It's a lot of money. So I think that the amount of people not paying it is going to go through the roof. I really do. With everything that's rising, I think people have got to find some cuts. And I think the amount of people not paying it is going to go through the roof. And the problem with that, maybe they don't know the rules as well as what you know the rules, because you've watched my videos or you've been on the website, so you've seen other people's videos. You know, they may not know how to deal with them because that prosecution number could be zero because you get an enforcement officer knock on your door and you just go, Hello, who are you? I am from TV licensing and you close the door. It's that simple. You don't have to talk to these people and then they can't prosecute you. They're not bailiffs, they're not police, they don't have any powers of entry, they can't put their foot in the door. If you just close the door on them, they have to toddle off. So this could be zero. Now, I don't condone you watching... Something you shouldn't be watching anyway. Without a telly license, you can't watch or record anything as it's been shown or use BBC iPlayer. But there's only one way they would know that and there's only one way you could possibly be prosecuted for that and that's by telling them. They can't detect anything. That's a, a massive myth. They can't detect nothing, can they? But how they find out is by asking you. They send an enforcement officer to knock on your door to stitch you up to telling them something you shouldn't be doing, or they try and get into your house and they'll turn the telly on, they'll even plug the aerial in, I've heard of it done, and it's not good, these people are trained with this, they've heard everything that you could possibly say to them in an answer, this is what they do, they do it every day, day in and day out, and they're incentivised through commission to sell you a licence, and they know what they're doing, there is only one good way to deal with them, whether you're doing something you shouldn't be or not, do not talk to them, just close the door and we can get these prosecutions down to zero can't we mr friend called on the government to axe those license fees completely from january the 1st 2028 onwards i mean over the last five years almost 124,000 people have been prosecuted for non-license fee payment and so the charter has got another six years to go before it comes to a close in 2027 yeah that is what we're all fighting for i mean we don't know what's going to happen but there's going to be change to the license fee 
and it might become a media tax, it might just be scrapped, it might turn into a subscription service, the BBC might show ads. We don't know, but we're all fighting for this in 2028 because we need to see some change. I mean, this prosecution number, it might just be put out there to scare people who have stopped paying their license, start paying it. But even if it is massively exaggerated, which I think it might be, one prosecution is still too many prosecutions for something as archaic as a TV license, isn't it? So what do you think about this? Do you think that 750,000 people number is a bit exaggerated? Do you think, like I think, that many more people are going to stop paying just because they can't afford to pay it and that visits are going to go through the roof? Because they haven't been able to do a lot of visits because of the health crisis. But, you know, that's coming to a close now, hasn't it? They're going to start knocking on doors in big numbers again trying to earn their commission. It's going to happen. And we need to let people, or as many people as we can, know not to talk to these people and not to give them their commission and get this 750 number, which is exaggerated anyway, down to as low as possible. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.